Hi, my name is Guy Lacroix, and I'm an associate professor in the Department of Psychology. As you may know, research in psychology at Carleton is focused on six themes. Cognitive psychology, developmental psychology, forensic psychology, health psychology, organizational psychology, and social and personality psychology. If you'd like to have an opportunity to explore one of these themes and be officially recognized for doing so, then you will be interested in choosing a concentration. What are concentrations? A concentration is a way of enhancing your degree by selecting a set of courses that are thematically related. Hence, if you are passionate about an area of research, a concentration will provide you with a roadmap that will help you choose the very best courses for you. In addition, your concentrations will be formally recognized when you graduate. For example, if you choose developmental psychology, your diploma will say BA in psychology with a concentration in developmental psychology. So, you will be able to show future employers and graduate programs that you have acquired expertise in an area of psychology that goes beyond the typical undergraduate degree. Who can do a concentration? Students who are presently registered for a Bachelor's of Art or Bachelor of Science in on the Honors Program in Psychology may select a concentration. Unfortunately, students registered for a minor, a BA General, or a combined Honors cannot. Adding a concentration is very easy. Simply go to Carleton Central and select Changing Program Elements. What are the requirements for a concentration? Each re concentration requires 3.5 credits in a given area of research or seven one semester courses. However, this does not mean that you will have to complete additional courses to finish your degree. You can fulfill your program and concentration requirements simultaneously. All concentrations include at least one introductory class at the th second year level. For instance, Psych 2500, Introduction to Developmental Psychology, would be the first class that you would take for the Developmental Psychology concentration. Then, you will have a variety of options to pick from at the third and fourth year levels. For example, you could take classes on exceptional children, cognitive development, or adolescence and emerging adulthood. The easiest way to know which courses to select for a given concentration is to go to our developmental website and find the concentrations pages. There, you should click on the How Do I Know Which Courses to Select for a Given Concentration link, and then Concentrations of Your Choice. A checklist with all the courses that you can choose will appear. When should I start a concentration? Ideally, you should start your concentration in the second year of your program. The earlier you start, the more likely you will be to finish the required 3.5 credits. You should also be aware that your registration into a concentration does not allow you in any way to sidestep the regular conditions for enrollment into a given course. For instance, some courses like third year honors seminars and the honors theses have a GPA requirement. Some courses like the Community Practicum course have limited enrollment. And some courses like the Independent Study require you to secure a supervisor before you can enroll. Finally, note that many courses including the Community Practicum, the Independent Study, the Honors Project, and the Honors Thesis may be used in fulfillment of all six concentrations. It is your responsibility to ensure that the work that you do in those courses is consistent with the theme of the concentration. This concludes our short video on our department's concentrations. For more information, please visit our concentrations webpage. You should also visit the undergraduate office if you have any questions.